part two of four parts. Alan Hahn and Wally Zerbiak in the car, carpooling to work. And the best thing we can tell you about part one, they didn't crash. All right, off to work, but of course, gotta get Wally. Let's go! Let's do this! You're late, huh? Drive! Yeah, this is the neighborhood. Neighborhood right here, the harbor. Heading in from the harbor. And you've been here, other than obviously your plane crew, your whole life, right? Yeah, I grew up here. This is home for me. Like, like, yeah. When you moved here as a child, how old were you? Five. You were five years old when yeah. you came back from Europe, right? Yeah, my dad was playing professionally in Spain, Italy, in the Canary Islands. He's yeah. Been retired around 33. Came back when I was five in kindergarten, and I started going to school here in kindergarten. It's a great spot. There's your high school. Yep. Cold cool. Spring Harbor, where the magic happened. Living in the Hall of Fame. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were talking that, Knicks, but then we got into talking life. Life. We got into talking shows. Shows. Binge That's watching. Great. Yeah. And you have not watched Stranger Things, right? No. I watched the first three episodes, and that was it. You couldn't. Just, I mean, are you crazy? I know. I you gotta stop watching. It's, oh. it's uh, I will get Stranger Things and start watching it. Only because, well, I'm a, I'm a little bit older than you. I, when I watch that, I feel like I'm watching my childhood. Oh, I remember the '80s. The nostalgic, yeah. The nostalgia, the is so accurate. There, I don't know if that made any sense, but it's no, the fact it that is. the scenery, the 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 mannerisms, yep. the way they talk. Just it, a catchphrase. It felt like a John Hughes movie, but horror. <laughs> <laughs> catchphrases and stuff like yeah, that. It's yeah. fun. The clothes they're wearing, the style. It's great. Um, I, it's, it's like, for me, it's comfort food. I'm watching, like, something that I remember. I just, like, grew up. I, like, from when I was a kid, when we were kids, you remember um, the show Happy Days? Yeah. That's all based in the 50s? Yeah. And it was always historically accurate? Yeah. And that's sort of... But like, I guess it feels like when I was a kid, though I didn't know the '50s, I wasn't alive. But your parents knew the '50s, so they would watch it and say, "Oh my, you know, that reminds me of the old days." You know, the movie American Graffiti. Yeah. You know, that's this. This is our kind of version of that because this is our childhood, and it's factually accurate. And it's killing it, right? Oh my I god! Mean, well, the story's just... insane. It just keeps you. Well, I was up till 3 a.m. and so I'm watching, and you know, I'm in a hotel by myself, so I'm just killing time. And, and I was up. Like, see, I know it's 3 a.m. I'm like, I need to go to bed. That's great. But that's how good it was. <laughs> Told Stephanie, she's like, now like, what was you're like, such you're, a nerd. What was anybody like, else after 3 a.m. was drinking, having a great time? You're watching Stranger Things and all alone in a hotel room. I'm like, yeah. Did Wally say anything during that segment? <laughs> I think he might have been asleep. I think Wally was asleep. He had the head, he had the head bob going there. <laughs> raise, raise the shades up a little bit. Long ride into practice, sleep. you know. Uh, he's uh, watching too. You guys, I haven't watched Stranger Things. Have you guys watched? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Is it you? Michelle? No. Listen, we must be Bill. on like the boring side well, of the table right you now. You heard what Alan <laughs> said in the piece that he's been up to like three or four in the morning watching that show. Like it hooks you that much. Is it's, it worth checking really, out? Yes. 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 To me, that is the it's test. Wor it's that worth is the test. It's worth the loss of sleep. Yes. 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 Do it. It's, it's a, it'll mess up your whole week. So you're when you watch you a show, you can't watch one no, or two. Oh, it, no, 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 no. That's the test for me. If I watch it and I'm like, I need all of this in my veins now, I'm willing to ruin the next week of my life to have all of this show it's worth that it. is a show that's how it was with breaking bad i don't know if you guys have yeah, seen that yeah, that my wife series. and i spent we much of what all eight years in like three or four days mm -hmm. you yes, talk so. about just being yes. shut yeah. in yeah. watching something Absolutely. over it sometimes i think it's more enjoyable to binge watch these shows i agree yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my fiance this year when the new season of game of thrones was coming out i hadn't watched anything leading up to this season and he was like oh let's take some time we'll watch it and like you know we had like a month i think before the season started and um he was like we'll take it slow don't worry and we'll catch it we'll get you all caught up um I watched all of it in five days. Really? And I lived in like an alternate universe <laughs> for like two weeks. I'm not kidding you. Go I was like, I everyone. was a character in Game of Thrones by <laughs> yeah. the end of it. Like it was, but it's those shows, they grab you. And once you start, it's like what you guys said. It's like, you're almost like, oh, it's 1 a.m. Could I watch one more episode? What do I have to do tomorrow? Um, so yeah. that's another one that's just like that. I have two confessions. Um, I've never seen Breaking Bad. 
You should check it out. And, Seriously, it's a great series. And I, I did the complete opposite when it comes to Game of Thrones. I watched a little bit of episode one and then skipped past. Oh, that's kind of, oh, oh, well, actually. Go ahead. <laughs> one through seven and jump wow. right into eight. And my wife just looked at me like, what are yeah, you doing? Yeah, she, she was just like a whole she world. She was disgusted. <laughs> you were able to figure out what was going on? No clue. No, no, no yeah, clue. And yeah. I, I was that guy on the side that like yeah. kept talking during different questions. scenes. And my wife made me get out the room. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. get out of here. I'm disgusted. I'm with your wife on that one. <laughs> For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.